All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can fix the issue of God of War crashing on PC. Now, before we get started, I'd really appreciate if you go down below and give this video a like and you get subscribed so you don't miss my future videos. And without the way, let's get right into the video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can eliminate all of your background ta uh, tasks that are running in the background and how to get your graphics drivers up to date and windows up to date, how to repair corrupted game files just in case you're game files got corrupted and how you can set your computer on a higher performance mode to help uh, run the game better so so i want to get this one out the way quickly because you actually have to go to a different video to do this because i'm trying to explain this in this video would make this video super long and i want to keep this video short so pretty much go to the link in the description down below it should be the top link and that will take you to a youtuber i forget his name but he made a really 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 awesome video on how to uh, clear out all the background tasks and bloatware on your computer and it's totally safe to run I use it very frequently on my computer to keep my computer running as good as it can So yeah, just top link in the description. It'll take you to this video. Just follow his directions He has a it's just a really awesome video really easy to follow So yeah, once you do that that should eliminate all of the tasks running in the background except the ones that need to be running Now the next thing you want to do is just keep your computer up to date That means keeping your windows up to date having updated graphics drivers and all that stuff just to make sure your computer is running on the latest uh, software. Now the way you can update your windows is by going over here to the windows icon and then pressing settings. When, it, you know, when you press settings it's going to bring up a screen. I'm not going to show it because it'll show us my like uh, my full name and my email address and y'all do not need to see that. So once you get to the screen you're going to look for the tab that says uh, updates and security. You're going to click on that then that'll take you to this screen right here. And for me, I already pressed this button to kind of prepare for this video to see if I have any updates. I did, but there will be a button right here that will say check for updates. You're going to press that. It'll check your whole entire computer to see if there's any updates or anything that can be updated. And it will update it automatically. Uh, for me, it already downloaded something when I checked press updates and it has, it's telling me to restart my computer. I'm not going to restart my computer because I'm recording right now. But once I get done recording this, I will restart my computer and that will make sure windows is totally up to date then if you want to update your graphics drivers just the way i usually do it is i go over to geforce experience and it will take me over to the driver section right here and this will automatically update my graphics drivers for my gpu and it turns out i actually have an update that needs to be done so yeah i'll probably do this after i get done recording this but yeah just occasionally check on geforce experience once a month or once every couple of weeks and see if there's any updates I do think it actually gives you a small notification down here to say, hey, you got a graphics driver to update. So yeah, just keep this up to date and you'll be good to go. But yeah, that about does that. The next thing you can do is head over to Steam or whatever or wherever you downloaded this game, whether it was uh, Epic Games or Steam. I think it's available on Epic Games, is it? I'm, I'm not sure. I'll check in a minute though. But, but once you're in Steam, you want to head over to the library, which I think it automatically opens to this anyway. But if it doesn't, just click on library. And then you're going to go over to God of War in your games section right here. You're going to right click on it. Then you're going to go over to properties. And then this will pop up right here. You're going to go to local files. And you're going to click verify integrity of game files. I'm not going to do this because I'm not having this issue. But that's just another thing you can do to make sure that your game files are all totally intact and ready to go. Because if they aren't intact or in good shape, they could cause uh, crashes, stuttering, um, or high CPU usage or high just resource usages in your computer. So just, yeah, this is a good measure and good thing to do. And it's super easy. It only takes like maybe 10 minutes or so. Hey, future me here. I just realized that I totally forgot how to show you how to verify your game files on Epic Games. But pretty much all you got to do is go over and open up Epic Games. And then over to head over to your library. Find the game you want to verify. In this video, it's God of War. But you can do this for any game. And you want to go on to the three buttons right here or three dots click on it and then click verify and you'll be ready to go so yeah just forgot to show that in the video but there it is but once you have done all of this there's one more thing you can do and that is going over to your search uh, bar right here it's typing in control panel or you can just type in part of it and it will usually pop up here you're going to click on that you're going to head over to hardware and sound you're going to click on power options then this screen should pop up right here. Now, what you wanna do is click on this right here if it isn't already opened, and then click on high performance. For me, it's here because I already have it selected, but for you, it might be down here. Now you could set it on ultimate performance, although 
I know this is like a newer option. I'm not sure what it does compared to high performance, but I would just recommend setting it on high performance just to uh, stay safe. All right, now once you have done all of this, this should fix your problem with having God of War crashing and should help bring down your like CPU usages and all that and just help your computer run better. If it does not, you're still having crashing problems, then honestly, I do not know. Maybe try turning down your settings in the game, or maybe if you can, just try reinstalling God of War, maybe, I'm not sure, but this should fix your problem. And yeah, if you found this video helpful, then hey, go down below and give it a like, and get subscribed so you don't miss my future videos. And yeah, I hope y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.